Good morning, everyone. This is Wanda from Fox Hollow Peonies up in Alaska. And with all this uh, having to stay home, I'm having lots of extra time on my hands. So I thought I'd start coming on here and sharing a little bit about Fox Hollow Peonies and how we came to be and a little bit about farming in Alaska, which has its own set of challenges for all of us that live up here in the frozen north. And I thought I'd just start coming Fox Hollow coming on for Fox Hollow Fridays and share a little bit about our farm. Uh, Fox Hollow is located in a little town called Ninana, which is halfway between Denali Park and one of our larger cities in Alaska called Fairbanks. So it's just a short drive for us to go down to Denali Park. And it's about an hour drive up to Fairbanks, which is where we go for groceries and most of our shopping. So I'm going to pan out here and behind my shoulder and let you look at the uh, view. This is the view from our back porch. And uh, you can see how a lot of those trees out there in that it's sort of a swampy meadow are uh, burned and, and uh, not alive. And the reason for that is in 2008, some neighbors of ours down the highway it was a really dry summer and they unfortunately didn't think about it and dumped their hibachi coals into the woods um, and that started a roaring forest fire which came roaring up the highway and i got a uh, had some wildland firefighters stop in here at our house one morning and they said ma'am you need to evacuate because the fire is heading straight up the highway towards your property and so I called my husband who was working in Fairbanks at the time and he said, don't leave. <laughs> and he said, I want you to stage uh, water all around the house, find everything you can and get it filled with water and go around the house. He said, I want you to take the hose and start spraying the back deck, the back of the house, the backyard, because that's the side that the fire was coming from. And uh, he said, I'm, I'm going to get home as soon as I can. So I did that. I went out and uh, staged water all around our house and sure enough a few hours later he thankfully made it home and the fire uh, came across this meadow from that ridge over there and it was burning clear across the meadow and we thought it was going to miss us because it was just raging right across that meadow and burning all those trees. And we were like, oh good, it's gonna miss us. Well, all of a sudden, once you know it, the wind changed and suddenly it did a complete U-turn and turned and came right at us. Thankfully, we had some, the wildland firefighting crew that is, uh, works in Alaska every summer. They were here. Our neighbors came across the street and uh, we definitely used all those containers of water that I had staged around the house. Uh, the fire burned right up to our backyard and uh, burned the woods on that side of our house. Um, my little neighbor girl who was in high school, uh, same grade as my son, she saved my greenhouse because my greenhouse almost caught on fire that was on that side of the house. And uh, we, we came very close to losing our home, but thank the Lord, uh, the firefighters and lots of friends came and, and got the fire fought down. Now over on this side of the house that I showed you a little bit ago is our peony field. And that was a big birch, beautiful birch woods at one time, full of birch trees. And that whole woods burned. And we heat our home with wood like most many Alaskans do. And so we actually had a whole uh, standing woods of burned dried wood <laughs> that we used to heat our home with for a couple years. And by the time my husband had it all cut down and leveled, we had this great big field in need of a mission. And I will come on next week and tell you how that big burned field got turned into a peony farm. It's kind of a neat story of how that all happened. So I'll come back next week on Friday and share a little bit of that with you. I know this is a hard time for a lot of us flower farmers. Uh, we're worried. I know I'm worried. My peonies go to a lot of you wonderful florists in the summer for weddings. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm concerned about the wedding uh, market this summer. 
but I'm just hanging on to um, my hope and hanging on to my faith and hoping and praying that this will all be done really soon. And <clears throat> I'm hoping all of you are doing okay and just keeping busy, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm planting seeds for other flowers and keeping busy doing that. So hope you have a great weekend and I'll come back on next week and tell you the rest of the story.